This generation of budget GPUs has been rough. Between overpriced launches and the return of 8 GB cards, a lot of gamers simply decided to wait, but AMD might finally have dropped something worth paying attention to. This is the Radeon RX 9060 XT 16 GB, a mainstream card with real performance, reasonable pricing, and most importantly, enough VRAM for modern games. So today we're breaking down how it actually performs, how it compares to NVIDIA's 5060 series, and whether this is the new 1440p sweet spot. Let's get into it. So what exactly is the RX 9060 XT? In simple terms, this is AMD's new mid-range card built on the RDNA 4 architecture, and unlike a lot of the competition, it launches with two variants, an 8GB model and a 16GB model. But the real story is the 16GB version. Same cores, same clocks, same power, just double the memory. And in 2025, that makes a massive difference. Not just for ultra textures or 1440p gaming, but even for things like frame generation and shader heavy titles where 8GB cards are already struggling. At a $349 MSRP, the 9060 XT was supposed to be the mainstream hero. In reality, prices are hovering closer to the $389 mark right now. Still, compared to NVIDIA's RTX 5060 Ti, which jumps all the way to $479 for the 16GB version, AMD's pricing strategy suddenly makes a lot more sense. So on paper, the 9060 XT 16GB checks all the boxes, but specs don't mean anything without real performance, and that's where things get interesting. Let's start with 1440p, the resolution most people are considering this card for, and honestly, RX 9060 holds up surprisingly well. In games like Indiana Jones and The Great Circle, you're looking at 60 to 70 FPS on the Supreme preset at 1440p. That's already impressive for a sub $400 GPU. Then in Doom, The Dark Ages, the card stays in that smooth 50 to 60 frames per second range at high settings, and just by tweaking a couple of options you can easily push well past that. Even Cyberpunk 2077 is no problem here. Native 1440p, high settings deliver above 80 FPS, and dropping to 1080p ultra pushes past 100 FPS. When you get triple-digit performance in Cyberpunk from a mid-range card, that tells you something. Overall, 1440p is clearly the sweet spot. You might not max out every single game, but you're getting a very clean, very playable experience across the board. And that's before we even talk about what happens with competitive titles. Now, for the competitive players. This is where the RX 9060 XT starts to feel way more powerful than its price suggests. In Counter-Strike 2, the default settings don't hit 240 FPS. But let's be honest, nobody plays competitive shooters on high settings anyway. Drop to 1080p low with the usual competitive tweaks, pair it with a strong CPU, and the 9060 XT easily delivers the ultra-high frame rates you need for 144Hz, 240Hz, and even 300Hz monitors. Then, in titles like Warzone, performance is even more impressive. Even at maxed 1440p settings, the card pushes past 120 FPS for a GPU that runs under 160 watts and costs under $400? That's borderline ridiculous. Esports favorites like Apex Legends, Rainbow Six, and Marvel Rivals all land in that no-thinking-required territory. Super high FPS, low temperatures, and no stuttering thanks to the 16GB VRAM buffer. If you play a mix of competitive and cinematic single-player games, this card slides right into the perfect middle ground. Fast, consistent, and stable. Now, let's talk about the biggest reason people are paying attention to this GPU. 16 gigabytes of VRAM. In 2025, that's not just a luxury, it's becoming a requirement. We've already seen 8 GB cards run into problems with modern games, not just in ultra textures, but even in basic gameplay longer loading times, shader stutters, lower quality assets, and in some games, they simply fail to run higher presets. Even something like Indiana Jones and the Great Circle won't let you use the Ultra preset on certain 8GB NVIDIA cards. Frame generation also eats into VRAM, which means the 9060 16GB stays smooth in situations where 8GB cards choke. And beyond gaming, AI upscaling, productivity tools, modded games, they all benefit from that additional memory. So yeah, the extra $50 to $90 over the 8GB version hurts, but in the long run, it's one of the most meaningful upgrades you can pay for. So, who should buy the RX 9060 XT 16 GB? If you play modern AAA games at 1440p and want strong, consistent performance without overspending, this card fits perfectly. 
The 16 GB VRAM gives you long-term breathing room, and the overall value is hard to beat if you're focused on raw raster performance rather than max ray tracing. But if you rely on DLSS, NVENC, or need the best ray tracing possible, NVIDIA still makes more sense. And if you can stretch your budget to a 5070 or higher, those cards deliver a clearer performance jump. For most 1440p gamers, though, the 9060 offers a balanced mix of speed, stability, and future-proof memory at a price that finally feels fair. And that wraps up the breakdown. If this helped you decide, hit subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.